Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this tutorial, I'm going to try to explain to you how uh, which settings to use when rendering your architectural indoor uh, scenes in 3ds Max using Mental Ray. So the end result is going to be something like this. We have these nice shadows and the main light coming from the right and the fill light coming from the left. So uh, let's get started. Uh, first of all you have to make sure you model your uh, scene in the real world scale so the daylight system and other uh, and the other lights are going to function function uh, appropriately so then I just uh, like to set up my camera view by setting the perspective view and then pressing Control C on the keyboard to create a camera so I can then pressing C on the keyboard just uh, snapping to the camera view and then pressing P on the keyboard to uh, make some uh, preview changes and then going back to C and snap it back to the view I like to have it rendered in so uh, the next step is going to rendering and gamma LU2 setup and make sure that you have enabled gamma you have set 2.2 for gamma and checked both these values and input gamma should be set to 2.2 output gamma should be set to 2.2 but if you want to uh, render in and save your image in HDR you should uh, set it set it up to 1 then I just normally go to uh, just create another uh, layer uh, for the lights and then just go to uh, create systems and daylight going to the top view I just click in the center drag it out let go drag it out and there is perspective view I just select the Sun and then just um, under modify you can play around with the setup of the date time and location if you know uh, where your uh, architect architectural design is um, set up in the world and you want a specific time uh, set up but for this tutorial I like to use manual which means I can move freely my uh, sunlight system when we are here we can set up uh, where are you we can set up We are going to set up MR Sun for sunlight and MR Sky for skylight and we're going to be asked if we want if we want to use MR physical sky and we we want to use it. So after that uh, we have this MR Sky uh, selection uh, available and under haze you have the setting zero for default and we want to put it uh, like in four. This is going to create a much warmer uh, sub subtle tones for your uh, sunlight sometimes you just uh, create this uh, kind of render view which you can see the outside and if you want to uh, use the bitmap for your uh, background image just press A8 on the keyboard pressing M on the keyboard to make the material editor visible and the environment and effects window visible so we are using MR physical sky and we're going to click and drag and uh, make an instance and we can click here use custom background map and clicking on none selecting bitmap and browse on your hard drive select the image that is going to be represented as your background image and you can see it um, when rendering here in the background I'm not going to use this now uh, but you should make sure you don't have any um, any uh, how should I how should I put it uh, any model in front of the window because it's not going to see through even if you have a material that is like transparency uh, or glass or something uh, similar it's not going to show the background image so next we're going to uh, put in some additional lights and going to uh, create lights and 
MR Sky Portal. I'm going to the left view and I'm going to make it uh, the size of my window and set it up to be on the outer side but making sure this uh, white arrow is uh, pointing inwards so uh, I'm going to select it and having angle snap tool on I'm going to just easily rotate it 180 degrees and I'm going to duplicate it you should uh, do this for making copy of it you should do this uh, for uh, as many times uh, as you have your uh, windows or other uh, how should I put it openings in your uh, scene because this is going to make sure the outdoor light from the daylight the uh, system is going to be reflected inwards and it's going to stay there stay there so I'm not going to uh, just uh, go in and render uh, uh, every time I, cho I change a setting here but you can do this for yourself just to uh, learn and make sure you understand uh, which settings are affecting your render how so uh, the next step is going to go to render and ren uh, exposure control I think yeah exposure control and we have this MR physical sky uh, applied and we're going to use exposure control MR photographic exposure control and we're going to under presets uh, we're going to use indoor daylight you can set up any any else but if you uh, encounter problems when rendering and you have like uh, burnout and some or some artifacts that you don't want you can play around with these settings for highlights midtones and shadows to make appropriate um, changes but normally I just leave them uh, at the default uh, so uh, next thing I like to do is uh, to maybe even create additional light uh, I use free lights and going to the top view we are going to just um, align it and it represents uh, a kind of um, fill fill uh, fill uh, light that you can find in um, photographic studios just to make sure your image pops up a little bit more so make sure your shadows are on or ray traced shadows are selected and you can play around with the settings for intensity this candela is set to 1500 which represents the approximately 100 watt uh, light bulb so if you want to make sure your uh, additional light is seen in your uh, daylight scene you can you should crank it up to I don't know 40 4000 and then you can play with shapes I like to play it with rectangular and just rotate it so it's pointing this way and then just uh, under a setting under the local you can crank it up it can be uh, understood as a diffuse uh, reflector so then you can uh, play around with uh, the intensity and other stuff so you don't get the burnout systems uh, burnout systems uh, created so uh, these are the settings for for uh, a default preview which are which we are going to test now uh, it, pre it looks pretty much okay I'm not going going to go into details how you can set up your materials because this is a tutorial for uh, mandatory uh, rendering settings so as, as we can see here we have this nice fill light from the side from our uh, additional free light that we just applied we have uh, this uh, main light going uh, coming from the front and from the side from th all these um, uh, openings that we have have some burning from here so we could uh, drop down the intensity of our uh, front uh, 
front this one this one is a little bit too high so you can just can down to I don't know 0.6 and you you don't have then uh, this uh, burnout um, view so uh, this these settings were made for a preview just uh, but if we would uh, render this in HD and we can already see here we have some <laughs> artifacts in the shadows and this is just as I said for the preview settings but if you want to make a HD kind of setting with mental ray you just have to go to here render setup and make sure you are under indirect illumination final gather is on and you can set up these values 1 100 and 10 and diffuse bounce is 2 and this will increase the uh, the time for the rendering time uh, significantly so you should only use this uh, when you are satisfied with your camera view uh, with your additional lights how they they are affecting your scene and then just crank these uh, values up and render so this is pretty much it from me from for telling you how you can set up your um, uh, settings for mental ray for your architectural indoor rendering so if you like this video uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed share this video like it comment it and this is pretty much it from me for tonight and till next time bye